Confused, I asked why. She explained she was in her garden hose phase and wanted a summer of fun before settling down. The rest of the day was awkward and I left early. When she asked, I assured her we were fine. Though my pride was bruised and I felt disappointed, I emphasized we were still friends. Welcome to the Hallowed Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper to the keys of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, lost interest in a girl because of her 304 phase. This is a pay attention, listen and learn video and is a great example of how to handle being friend zoned, put on layaway, or being made a woman's second choice as a backup plan. A female who has a true desire for you wouldn't do what you are about to see. This is an important lesson, guys, since so many of you out there screw this up fall into her frame, and then wonder why you get taken for your resources and get your guts ripped out. So please, share this with a friend who's had his heart stopped on and can't seem to figure out why. But before embarking on an expedition to today's knowledge, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. He writes, I have a female friend who is attractive, outgoing, and funny. We met in school and became friends, often hanging out together in groups with our respective partners several times a week. Since we were never single at the same time, I never considered her romantically, though I acknowledge her attractiveness. After I broke up with my girlfriend and she ended things with her boyfriend, a few months later, we started spending more time together, about four days a week. I didn't realize I was developing feelings for her until someone pointed out that I had stopped dating and approaching other women. It hit home when I felt jealous seeing her go on dates with other guys. Slap to the back of the head. In my book, if you are single, having female friend or two isn't a big deal. However, Men need the company of other men, especially those who are better at positive skills we don't have or who are operating at a higher level. This pushes us to become better versions of ourselves. This often leads to a better quality of life. This is the path to becoming the guy that once upon a time you would envy. Never make women the sole purpose and center of your life. If you are giving up that much time and effort and validation to her, what tangible value is she giving you in return? I decided to have a conversation with her about my feelings. I explained that I had become interested in her and disliked seeing her date others. Slap to the back of the head, right there. In my opinion, two mistakes. One, I decided to have a conversation with her about my feelings. Women may say they want to discuss our feelings. However, that is a general lie. As a generalization, men who are 
too much in touch with their feelings, women seem to lose respect for. Two, dislike seeing her date others. That, my dude, right there, you just told her how she could have all the power in the relationship. That if she seeks to manipulate you, this is how she would do it. What you should have said was something along the lines of, I'm interested. Let's get together and see what happens. I decided to have a conversation with her about my feelings. I explained that I had become interested in her and disliked her seeing others. I suggested we explore dating to see if it could be as great as our friendship. Initially, she smiled with excitement, but then her expression turned uncertain. She admitted she had considered it too, but wanted to wait until the end of summer. Confused, I asked why. She explained she was in her garden hose phase and wanted a summer of fun before settling down. The rest of the day was awkward and I left early. When she asked, I assured her we were fine, though my pride was bruised and I felt disappointed. I emphasized that we were still friends. To be honest, the moment she chose potential random hookups over a relationship with me, my romantic feelings disappeared. I wasn't angry with her as she hadn't done anything wrong, but my perception of her changed. She was now firmly in the friend zone for me. After taking a few days to process my emotions, I resumed hanging out with her, but less frequently. I started dating other women again, genuinely enjoying her company as a friend, much like before when we both had partners. High five. You swerved away from that mess like a NASCAR driver and dodged that bullet like Neo. Never be a woman's layaway sweater for the winter. You spent so much time with her as a nice guy friend she saw you as such and treated you like one. Plus, any woman who would pass up the chance at a good relationship for a summer of D is not relationship material at best, and at worst, may come back to you after she has a gift that keeps on giving. This is the kind of girl that when you become stable and boring, she will cheat on you sooner or later. If you are a guy who at this moment is going, oh my, she sounds like my woman. I suggest you start asking questions like, is that kid really mine? Trust, but verify, since according to the company DNA testing services, one third of baby daddies are not the father. Time for a quiet little DNA test. If the kid is yours, great. If not, don't be stupid. Talk to a lawyer first. Do not confront her on your own. When looking for red flags, be mindful. There is a difference between vigilance and outright paranoia. Don't create a problem where there isn't one. At the same time, lift your head up and pay attention. If you are obsessive, then seek moderation from your bros or talk to a good PI on what to watch out for. One night, while out with a group, she mentioned, hey, good news, summer's almost over. Not understanding her implications at the time, I replied, that sucks, I love summer, and then got distracted by other conversations. I did notice she was cold towards me for the rest of the evening. In October, she invited me to lunch, just the two of us. We had a great conversation discussing our summers. 
She talked about the guys she had dated and used this to steer the conversation back to us. She informed me that she was ready to settle down into a relationship and wanted to revisit our earlier discussion. Okay, this is where she is clueless about men or completely self-centered, otherwise known as solipsistic. The concept of social proof within the female dating strategy, however, it is the exact opposite for men. Social proof is when a woman perceives a man as being desirable or popular among other women. It can enhance his attractiveness in their eyes. This phenomenon suggests that a man's appeal is bolstered when others demonstrate interest or admiration towards him, indirectly signaling his worth and desirability in the dating arena. Whereas a woman who has been run through like the Boston Marathon is unattractive to a man with proper self-esteem or a man who is seeking the best candidate for wife and mother material. Like most human beings, she can only see the situation from her model of the world or perception of what is. For you Captain Seva 304s, at best, this woman is friends with benefits, and only after you get a full panel blood test. Subsequently, bring your own protection, use it, and never trust them when they say they're on the pill, especially you guys who make good money. I told her that I valued our friendship and thought we should remain just friends. When she pressed me about what had changed, I had to be honest. I explained that her decision to put me on hold for her hot girl summer had hurt me. And I felt that if she truly liked me, she would have wanted to be in a relationship right away. Pay attention guys, that statement is 100% correct. Never beg, never argue. If she won't meet your terms, reciprocate your interest, say, okay, walk away. Do not give them drama. Do not give them free attention and validation. Understand this. For women, attention and validation is the coin of the realm. Are you in the habit for handing out money for guaranteed nothing in return? If you are one of those guys, and that is what you are doing, how's that been working out for you long term? She argued that she knew we would be serious and she needed to get through her 304 garden hose phase to give us an honest chance. Bull crap. See, right there. Total lack of reason and accountability. I responded that her choice to potentially hook up with strangers instead of starting something real with me indicated that her feelings weren't as strong as she believed. I accepted this and remained friends with her through, without holding a grudge. However, once she chose to put me on the back burner, I lost all romantic interest in her permanently as it felt like she had been shopping around all summer and settled on me as a backup plan. That, guys, is exactly what was going on. In the comments section below, how many of you have fallen for something like this? Come on, fess up, tell your story. She became angry and stopped speaking to me. Our friends think I should apologize and give her a chance, but those feelings are no longer there. In general, women cannot handle rejection. And no, you should not apologize. And by the way, go tell your friends to go F themselves. This all happened last summer. We've seen each other around since then. 
but she avoids me when possible. I'm writing this now because a mutual friend and I were recently discussing last summer and how things unfolded in the fall. They mentioned that she was still single and asked if I had changed my mind or consider changing it. I don't think they were asking on her behalf as they said she still thinks I'm an ass. Yes, well, guys, many of these women are the ones who chase the bad boys. Chad, Tyrone, Juan, and it is often universally agreed, they're asses. I hope many of you have learned something today, especially if you recognize your own mistakes in similar situations. If a woman has a genuine desire for you, she will let you know. If she doesn't, then she may dangle a what could be in front of you for free attention, validation, foodie dates, and car rides and use you as her emotional tampon while making sure you get nothing in return. Our boy here shows how to avoid that. If you are the 73.9% of men who found value in this video and the 26.1% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least th three friends who need to learn from my channel. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals rumble twitter getter or gab through this you are leading by example encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion purpose and prosperity if you can't wait for my new video then check on one of these right now and watch another until next time.